so first we want to import a module named random so which is uh, basically a python standard library which is used to generate some render numbers make random selections and perform random permutations and adc so let's import that uh, module by typing import random okay okay so why we need this module render so it's because uh, we are developing a guessing game okay so in here uh, computer want to generate a number between 1 to 10 and the user want to guess that number okay so to generate a number okay in randomly so okay so the computer want to generate that number randomly so in this module it has a function called trend int okay so in there so if you put a range 1 to 10 it can uh, it will just pick the number between 1 to 10 randomly so that's why we are using this module random okay so here you can see random dot random okay so let's print that print random dot so random module has a function named friend int okay random dot friend int so if you see the uh, dogs it's dogs you can see written random integers in range of a to b including both endpoints okay so here you can see if we say 1 to 10 so it will randomly generate a number uh, within uh, 1 to 10 so let's say print it here so here you can see it just uh, generate 7 so 9 6 5 9 7 3 so here you can see it just randomly pick a number between 1 to 10 so it's also have some uh, some interesting functions uh, as well so here you can see uh, i showed another example random dot choice okay so what it will do uh, it will take an argument so choose a random element from a non-empty sequence sequence mean a list or tuple okay so those are we call as a sequence okay so let's say uh, for example uh, a b 1 2 okay so if you run it here you can see it will randomly choice okay so here you can see it sometimes uh, print 1 b 1 a so here you can see just randomly pick a element from this uh, list okay so for this project we won't uh, we are not going to use this we can simply generate uh, uh, numbers within 1 to 10 by this random dot trend int function okay let's see so this is the computer generated number okay so computer generated number okay so maybe uh, yeah computer generated number okay so let's save that in a variable so here you can see if you print that computer generated number computer generated number you can see it's one okay so now what we have want to do uh, now uh, we want to take an input from the user so uh, user guess okay so user guess is equals to input uh, probably you all know what input means okay so basically we are going to uh, we are taking an input from the user so let's say and uh, guess a number between uh, 1 to 10 okay so we'll uh, prompt the user to take a number between 1 to 10 so user guess so now we can guess a number so let's say we will guess it 3 so now we, what we want to do so we want to check uh, is the computer generated and user user guess is same okay so if it's same we want to say uh, we want to print that uh, the user is 1 if not we want to print user is lose okay so uh, here we want to use a if condition so if computer generated is equals equals user guess user guess so in that case you want to print what uh one so you one h on the you want okay so let's take it simple okay you want uh, in case uh, else so if it doesn't equal uh, i mean the user guess will be wrong okay so we can call that print uh, you lose okay lose okay so like a smiley face here put it in smiley face okay let's cool 
okay now write so you lose but in this code i did a mistake okay so first we will fix that and move on okay so let's say uh, so the computer generated is print computer generated so which is one so if i guess one it still is going to say print uh, it's going to say you lose okay so here you can see it's a you lose why is this it's because uh, the data type is wrong okay so user guess is a string but the computer generated it's a integer okay so first we want to convert this into an integer okay so let's say so if you want to check uh, uh, which data type it is you can simply say user guess dot data type okay sorry uh, type oh sorry so so if you just see so here you can see it says string okay user does a string if you see if you see the computer generated it will be an integer so there is a mismatch in the data type so first we want to convert user does into an integer so how we can do that yes we can simply do that by user guess python has an inbuilt function integer so what it will do it simply uh, user gets into an integer so if we see so now it's working you want so but still we have some problem in case if the user doesn't uh, input an integer uh, instead he uh, input and string okay so for example if he input like this one so it's an what it is it's a string okay so we can't convert this into an integer okay okay so there you can see it's already executed i just <laughs> executed uh, twice that's why it throw that warning so anyway it's a string okay so if we convert this into an integer it's going to throw error so here you can see integer user does okay so it's going to throw its uh, value error in very literal for integer with base 10 okay so we can't con it's not a base 10 okay so how we can avoid this issue so yes uh, for this also python has a solution so which is uh, we we can check so which is a number or a string by uh, his digit function so here you can see user that goes to his digit digit okay so it's a number we're checking so so here you can see it's a false so if it's one so it's a digit okay so if you check here, here you can see it's true okay so what we want to do first first we want to check is it's a digit or not so okay, this is okay if user yes dot is digit digit okay then only we are going to do this part in case if it doesn't uh, digit okay it's not a digit we can prompt the user to enter the digit so print uh, please input the number in numerical format which okay, numerical numerical format okay okay now okay so in case if you say one what it's going to say sorry one and it's going to say please input the number in numerical form so it's working so now it's just uh, one cell code okay so we want to run it again and again if you want to look through so first we want to the while loop so we, we uh, don't want to uh, rerun the code again and again so let's see while true okay so while true which means it's a it's an if we use true which means while true if we use while true format which is an infinite loop okay so that's why we are using while true so i just put it here so computer want to generate 
uh, number and uh, user want to input a number so computer want to check so computer generated and use input uh, both are same if it's same it's uh, want to print you one if not uh, it's want to print you so also we want to add another condition that uh, in case if user guess so you, sometimes we want to break the loop okay for example if you guess 10 times then we want to uh, quit the loop okay so in that so for that we will add another condition if user if user guess is equals equals q okay so so maybe so guess to lowercase okay we will make that to lowercase so if the user even uh, input that in the capital it's going to make it simple okay so if you use guess dot lower is equals equals uh, quit uh, it's just going to break the loop okay so now run it and see how it's working so guess a number let's say one you lose okay no matter two okay, three not sure six so maybe we can uh, add uh, another thing that if if the if the guessing is wrong uh, it won't print that the computer generated number as well okay so we can check uh, which number is computer generated basically so print uh, you lose uh, lose computer generated number so you will put in a format string you all know that the format string basically uh, used to add some variables inside the string so to what we want to do to add a string in a, add a variable inside the string just we want to put the calibrations okay so then we want to put the variable inside the bracket so now run it so here you can see computer generator was seven okay so four 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 let's see can we run uh, at least one no 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 oh wait let's say nine no i think i can't run this one <laughs> let's see okay no way. I think I can't run this. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so this game is completed. So uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, We'll do another beginner level project okay by tomorrow or day after tomorrow and we'll complete our five beginner level project and move on to in, in intermediate level projects and we will create some amazing projects like chat boards and voice assistants okay for your own pc and some games again okay, and so on okay so thank you bye guys